Good afternoon. We're getting ready to start the uh, 2018 Alumni Championship against Fresh Inc. Or versus uh, Fresh Inc. and West Hartford Rotary. Sitting here next to my man, Brendan Connors. Big rebound from Mr. Baker. Puts it back up. 2-0 lead here. A little full court pressure. By Russ Hartford Rotary. Waiting on my counterpart, Mr. Urban here. All right. Nice basket there. Ties the ball game at 2-2. Both teams playing a little full court press. Oh, trying to dribble through it. Not a good idea. Rotary takes the ball to the corner. Little pull up jumper, no good. Rebound number 23. Pass ball, ball down low. Gavin Baker, two more points, puts Rotary up 4-2. Rotary is playing some full court pressure. Fresh Inc. bringing the ball up the middle. Oh. Number 33 puts up an awkward shot. First foul of the ball game by number 50, Gavin Baker. Okay, we got uh, 619 left to go in the game and Rotary leads 4-2. Got a foul. Number three, Derek O'Connor goes to the line. Fouls on number 50, Gavin Baker, that's number two on him. Got two old kind of boys in the game for Fresh Ink. You got Derek and Grant O'Connor. Good afternoon, Mark. Good afternoon, Michael. Had to take care of some paperwork. We're all set. Well, that's what the president does, very right? Very excited. Very excited about this game. Yes, me too. Mike doing what he does all year long behind the scenes, running the show. Good hustle there. Two Rotary. evenly matched teams today. Um, Fresh Inc. finished the season at 10 and 1. And Rotary, a surprising 6 and 5, I think. Um, a much better team than their record. They should uh, provide a good balanced attack today. Yeah. That right there was Grant O'Connor going to the basket. Gavin Baker with the D. We bring it down the other way. Rotary takes the ball to the middle. Turns it over. There's number 11. Michael Kiros like. with the layup. A steal yeah. in the layup. Like to see the style of play for both of these teams, Mike. Rotor, uh, West Hartford Rotary putting a full court pressure on. Oh yeah, both teams have been putting the uh, full court pressure going. Jump ball. I wish they'd go back to the actual jump, Mark. You know, Mike, put the ball in the air and let them go yeah. after it. O'Connor takes the ball out, puts it out to his brother Grant. Foul line jumper, a little short. Short, he might have got might have got a piece of that. Here's Derek O'Connor, little three ball. He's gonna step it out a little bit and the same result. Okay. Not a good start for the brothers here, at least for the last two jumpers there, but they, I'm sure they'll turn nerves, around. Nerves, nerves, I'm sure. Two good ball players. Five minutes to go in the first. Good afternoon, Chris. All right, 11. Kuros with the ball out top. Now we just hang out with these microphones in our hands all the time. Yeah. Maloney with the drive to his right. Nice. Ooh, nice nice move. basket. Good move. Brendan Maloney for two. 
He's got a motor that just doesn't quit. Wow. Errant shot. Oh, good ball fake. Threw it up short. Brenda Maloney with the rebound. Coach Reynolds trying to get his team to push the ball up the court. Nope. Yep. Yeah, he stuck that knee out. There it is. Good call. Greg Gentry Fine. doesn't miss a lot of calls out there. Gentry gets a little retirement going, trimming down, looking all good. Making the best calls he can make. That's right. On and off the court, Mike. Making them with a little style as well. Yeah. You'll see that today. Derek O'Connor gets caught in the air, gets the ball taken away. Zara Vaughn with the ball. Coach wants him to take it all the oh, way. He tries the Euro step, but takes one too many. Not having that here. All right. Athletic player. I think he ran out of options on that one. Well, probably a good call right there. Looked like he tried to get through too many defenders. One step too many again, Mike. Yeah, you can't do that. Uh, Dean Edwards. Certainly not in this division. No. Dean Edwards brings the ball up court. They're going to push it up. Sloppy start. Gets the ball back. He's going to try to go baseline, gets it shut off. O'Connor with the ball on the wing. Pass inside to Edwards. Oh, got it stuck in the corner. Oh, nice jumper. It's a good looking jumper. That's Zar Vaughn. Makes the score 8-4 in favor of West Hartford Rotary. Ooh, Those an errant pass, pass a little, yeah. A little too much on it. Fresh shank will inbound the ball. Goes to Edwards, tries to split the defenders. Ooh. Passes back out to O'Connor. He's gonna drive. Oh, nice drive. Got the shot off. connor has got a nice uh, little drive to the hole. It's a couple good ones. He's missed a few, but uh, all good moves. That foul was on number three, Jack Brennan. His first, I believe. You know what that move, move doesn't remind me of? Brendan Connors. Not at all. Because that was a good move. Let's see if Brendan Connor Connors working the clock for us today. Yeah. From former Sinatra agency player. Explored his options. Decided to return to college. Derek O'Connor hits one. Makes the score 8-5 in favor of Rotary. Zar Vaughn right in his hip pocket. St. Just with an errant shot. Short. He's got some tape on his hand. I don't know if that's affecting his game. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh, Baker with a nice box out. Well played. Yeah. St. Just loses it. Good defense by Vaughn. Dribble that ball off his foot and out of bounds. Vaughn will inbound it to O'Connor. He's going to go to his right. Oh, that's a good bounce there. Good shot by O'Connor. Played that well, stopped short and took a nice uh, quick shot. Jeez, way too much dribbling, guys. Both teams just trying to dribble through too much traffic, Mike. Well, you'll see that a lot in the alumni. These kids uh, invest a lot in their game and it's often a me first uh, approach. I'm not sure if the time change last night has done anything to the jumpers, but I'm seeing a lot more air balls than I'm used to. Good point. O'Connor with the drive from the left side. As we said, we knew the boys would turn it around. Connor's not going to go down without a fight. A couple great moves. Oh, nice drive. Missed the layup. Follows it, but the ball is out of bounds. And we got two subs coming in for Rotary. Got Maloney number coming out and... Uh, Jack Brennan coming out and in is uh, going in is number four Misha Goldstein and number 33 Brendan Parker. Brendan Parker, thank you. So just into oh Baker, Baker to the hole. Called for the travel. Got very soft hands. Gavin Baker does. Derek, you're tired, Derek. 
He's not going to miss too many passes. Connor brings the ball up for Fresh Inc. with a minute and 30 seconds left. Running one hander. Derek O'Connor has found his game. 11 8 right now. Fresh Inc. with the lead. Double jump. St. Just is struggling a little bit. For 44 on Rotary called for the technical foul. Things getting excited early. Zar Vaughn will take the free throw. That's Latroy taking control. Love Makes to see it. Twelve eight. Misses the second. And Fresh Inc. will get the ball inbound. 12-8, Fresh Inc. With 1.13 to go in the first quarter. Kind of trying, trying to split the defense call for the travel. Rotary will inbound the ball with a minute six left. All right, there's some nice colorful shoes there by number four. That's a color you don't see very often, no. I'll be honest. St. Just with the ball. Again. Trapped in the corner. Throws it out top to Michael Kiros. Good call there. A little too much reaching by number three, Derek O'Connor. His first. Rotary ball out of bounds. St. Just will inbound it. Nice Demisha little jump. Oh. Misses shot. Edwards with the rebound, pushing it up the court. Nice pass. With the left hand. Nice finish by Vaughn. 14 8 now in favor of Fresh Inc. 25 seconds to go. Corey Dinowitz with the interception. Edwards brings the ball up. Nice play. Takes Edwards to goes the, the length. Yeah. No good. That was, that was on number 11, I believe that was. Mike Kiros with his first foul, I believe. That was Rotary's fifth foul of the quarter. Edwards misses the first of two. Comes Hits back, knocks down the second. Good form. 10 seconds to go. Kiro springs the ball up. Three seconds. Long three pointer. Oh. No good. Okay, Mike, at the end of one, we have Fresh Ink with 15, Rotary with eight. What do you think of the first quarter, Mike? Well, I think it was a little bit sloppy. Um, hopefully both teams will settle down a little bit. You might see a little bit better ball. Both teams are going to run. I think they're looking to score on the, uh, on the break. Hey, uh, let, um, let me know when I'm clear. Second I'm quarter, I, to be honest, I'm not sure I saw both of these teams play this season. So uh, I'm not sure what to expect. I expect it to be competitive. Yeah, I've, I've seen both teams a little bit. Um, I expect number 34 in Rotary to have a very good, strong second quarter. And uh, number five over in Fresh Inc. Two, two solid players in the second quarter all year long. Again, trying to split two defenders, yeah. dribbling the ball. Way too much of it, Mike. Way Not too much. Not the most of effective it. strategy. Misha with a three off the front of the rim. Fresh Inc. bringing the ball up. Sam Musto with the ball to Nathan Useman. Nate Useman. Oh, that shot is off. That's Farrell with the ball. Takes it down the right side. Little pull up jumper. Useman with the rebound, brings it down the court. 
Out to Musto. Oh, long three by number two, Devin Barnum. Oh, what a pretty pass. Couldn't connect. 33, puts a ball out to number 34. That's Kenneth Chazelle. Spirited play so far, up and down. It was number five, Farrow with the jumper. 18-8. Well, he's in a little bit of a drought here, Mike. It's kind of interesting that Rotary started off hot where Fresh Ink was struggling, and now the two teams have switched sides. Gonzalez with the shot, no good. And She's out with the ball. He's got a nice couple moves, but steps out of bounds. A lot of play well away from the basket. I'm not sure that's effective, but we'll see. Musto with the ball in the middle. Barnum again for three. Long okay. shot by Barnum, okay. no good. Coach Gonzalez uh, encouraging him to take more shots. He might have got away with a walk there. Nice pass. Layup. Farrell for two. Gets Rotary back on the board. That's a timeout by Rotary. 30-second timeout with six minutes to go in the second quarter. It is a 18-10 lead for Fresh Inc. Coaches out there doing their thing. Trying Regrouping. to settle both teams down. Uh, making a lot of mistakes, but that's the Alumni League. You're gonna see that. Well, the shooting percentage is not that sh solid right now. I expect that to change a little bit more as the game goes on. Right. Musto brings the ball up for fresh ink. So over the bar. Well, it looks like they're in a man to man at this point. Yes. Don't see a lot of man to man in the alumni. Chazelle just kind of tries to hold them back, gets called for it. Hughes Mill checked the ball in balance. To Musto. Musto driving down the lane, gets the shot off, no good. Called out oh. of bounds. Farrell to Chazelle. Takes it strong to the hoop. Gets his own rebound. Wow. Little Charles Barkley-ish right there. Th that's a, a good call, Mark. I was trying to, trying to think who that reminded me of. He is wearing and number 34. Reminded Takes me of the to NBA, the too. There wasn't a lot of defense played on that. <laughs> All right. But Go. let's be honest, would you stand in front of him? No, no, Michael. <laughs> So you at full speed, I would step away myself. Okay, Chazelle with foul shots. Nice touch. Nice touch, he's right. Musco with the ball. Usman gets with a rebound, rebound no puts good. it up short. Nice pass attack. Tell you what, for a big kid, he is very athletic. He covered a lot of ground quickly. Puts it over to Usman. Short again. Good. Musto with the rebound. Smart play, taking it out a little bit. Hey, drop, drop. Musto takes the ball to the hole. Over to Yang. Musto with the floater. Good. That's foul by number 10. So some of the names I don't think are correct in our book They are here, not. Mike. We'll get that straightened out at halftime. This coach is confusing us here, Mike. Yes, yeah, Sam. Musto hits the M1, puts Fresh Ink up 20. I'm not going to say it was done on 21, purpose. 21, 13. But I thought I checked these rosters earlier. Farrell in the corner. Nice rebound. Wow, Chazelle with a Good strong rebound. rebound. Again. 
It's a foul by number two, Barnum. Looked like he was doing a pretty good job boxing out. Well, he might undercut him a little bit. Um, it did look like he was over the top. Coach asking him about the effectiveness of that box out. Some questions. I like it when the refs explain a little bit. Clearing Don't things up for the assistant coach. To, but, uh, yeah. you know, set the Busto record straight. with the ball up top. Barnum on the wing, back to, Must, up, back to Barnum. Barnum's dad's a fine ball player. There's quite a few Barnums in the league, I, th yep. I think, at this point. Uh, a couple yeah. of younger brothers, perhaps. Yeah, I believe his dad just coached his younger son in the uh, nine-year-old championship game. So you got a, a nice day for the Barnums. Okay, there's Farrell for three. Nice stroke from the corner. Look left, look left. 21-16 with four minutes to go. Nice pass. Farrell's dad's also a coach in the league. Good man, owner of Seamus Painting, sponsor for the league. Reynolds calling for a time. 30 second a... timeout. All right, Mike, so with uh, 3.47 to go in the second quarter, with a 21-16 lead for Fresh Inc. Being questioned by the scorekeeper if I will be attending the Friendly Sons of St. Patrick dance dinner dinner tonight, not dance, and the answer is yes, I will be. Always on the same evening of the championship games. Did you go to the uh, parade yesterday, Mark? I did not attend the parade. I had to uh, go down to New York. Not that our listeners really care, but um, I just that is how I spent my Saturday. <laughs> I had to go down to New York City. I did miss the Hartford St. Patrick's Day Parade, which I do like to go to every year. Mike. As did I. I was here doing games. Well, someone's got to do it, Mike. <laughs> All right, let's get back to the ball game. Farrell. Oh, yep. Oh, with his left call for the carry. Oh, you don't hear that one very often. Huh? You see it. Well, that was an extended You don't see carry. a call. That's <laughs> true. Uh, good point, Mike. Now, right, well, Musto brings the ball back down. Usman on the, on the wing. Slap. Boy, that Chazelle's got some quick feet. Yeah. Musto with his left. Score. Musto takes the ball to hole. Finishes strong, gets the foul. See if he can make the back end of the M1. That was a nice drive. Went to his left and put up a floater with his right. And that's a three-point play. That's two three-point plays in a row from Musto. 24-16, fresh ink. It's a nice move there by Farrell, but he was fouled on the ground. Ball goes into Chazelle, back over to Farrell, puts it up. Oh. It's a tough shot. Nice move, though. Yeah, that foul go on number 11 for Fresh Inc. That's Usman. He'll get two as he was in the shooting motion. Makes the first. 24-17. Nice rebound there by number five, Musto. Yang putting some pressure on him. Musto back at the top of the key with the ball. Barnum, two, and Usman back over to Musto. Musto's had a lot of success going to the hole. Ooh, Barnum looking a little like Steph Curry, draining from deep. On the turnover by West Hartford Rotary. Barnum again. Oh. Usman for three. Good looking shot, just in and, in and out. out. Boy, Fresh Inc. is really tracking the ball down. Three rebounds in a row right there. Musto with the ball at the top. 
over the Barnum to Useman. Ooh, Aaron passed Looking there. Looking to post him up a little bit there. Like a bit of poor communication between the two. Giselle inside. Oh, nice pass by number 10. Good take there by Usman. Hey, hey. Step off. Deep breath. That foul go against number five, Farrell. I believe that's two. Hey. Usman drains the first. All that fine schooling from his mom, Jane. That's where that jump shot comes from, I believe. Is that right? Yes. Okay, just over two minutes to go, 28-17, fresh ink. Rotary has passed the ball well, they just haven't been able to put the ball in. It's a good block there by Musto. That was out on him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Went, fell back in his hands and off his hands and out of bounds. Musto with the nice ball coming up the there. court. That's five. I believe that's three in a row for Farrell. Okay, Musto shooting two. I thought that was on the floor, wasn't it? Yeah, I believe we're in the double bonus we're here. in the bonus, yep. you're right. Thank you. Musto makes the first, 29-17. That one's gonna be short. This is the second, but again, Good fresh Good hustle, ink. good hustle. No, that's backcourt. But they're tracking the ball well. They're, yeah. Rotary's kind of flat-footed right now. Farrell, ball on top. Tell you what, Giselle for three, nope. Side rim. Oh, nice defense there. Bounds off number 42. That is Ryan Howe. Newsman. Tell you what, West Hartford Rotary is playing against the zone. It just looks like if they could put somebody in the middle of the zone instead of trying to dribble through it every time, have a lot more success in this game, Mike. Rulis with the interception. He's going to bring the ball up. He gets trapped. Barnum with the steal. Too much air under that pass. Oh, he turns it, but yes, good call. A little carry, carry there, yep. Rotary looks a little gassed right now, too, I'll be honest. Uh, Farrell, see what I mean? Well, he threw it into a double a team that time. higher there, though, right? They're trying to dribble through that instead of just passing it. They're making it difficult on themselves. That yeah, they are. It's a few blocks right there by Musto. It's a nice effort to get that shot off, but didn't fall. 34, Chazelle. Going a little coast to coast, Mike. Goodness sakes. Foul by number four. Mark, have you ever seen the Globetrotters? I have. That looked an awful lot like a Globetrotters kind of play right yeah. there. Oh, uh, interesting motion at the line there. Yeah. All the way off to the left side. There's a lot of uh, fundamentals being broken right there. Yeah. <laughs> Same but, shot, though. Who am I to say? That's right. Missed the shot. 29, 17. Oh! oh. That's number 10, Ethan Yang, draining a three. 32-17 with 15 seconds to go. Got the ball well away from the basket. Farrell. No. Gets a shot. Oh. oh, nice effort. So at halftime, we have 32-17 fresh ink. All right, Mike, welcome back. We're about to get ready for the second half. Going into the second half of the Alumni Championship, we have Fresh Ink 
leading 32 points over West Hartford Rhodey with 17. Fresh ink kind of put it on him in the second quarter. So we'll see how the uh, second half shakes out. I expect that Rotary will close the gap a little bit. Yeah, well that was an O'Connor to O'Connor pass, which is always nice. Just spent a few minutes with uh, Dad Mike at halftime. Hanging out with his buddy Matt. Massaro. Also got a few other folks over there. It's a wild atmosphere. I think I see some mans. Big crowd. See a lead with over there. We got a whole crew rooting on the O'Connors. All right, so that's number 33 on Fresh Ink with a foul. Now that you've identified who's in the crowd, Mark, can we talk about the game a little bit, maybe? Well, some people deserve a little shout-out, Mike, you know? Long Heroes with three. the shot, it's off. O'Connor with the rebound, pushes right, it up. Looks up. Ooh. A little errant pass there from Derek. Eager pass, a little bit too hard. Maloney will inbound the ball. Kiros. Over to Brennan on the wing. St. Just will take it to the left corner. Ooh, you get a little euro. St. Just. Ball on the play. Goes through the hole, hugging that ball tight. Nice move. That's popular these days. Yeah. Okay, Rotor beating St. Just with the ball on the wing to Maloney. Maloney for a deep three. Well, that was a nice play by uh, Brennan there to get that. It wasn't really even a rebound. It's a couple athletic plays from Brennan. He's going to go to his. Uh, oh, he gets he travel. Oh, a travel. No, you have to figure out what you want. Coach Reynolds voicing his displeasure. My feeling is that if he keeps it up, he will wind up getting technical foul. Well, he got the one only, yesterday, so. Well, we have the best of the best ref in here today, Mike. You know? These guys know how to control a game. Okay. Bomb with the steal. Takes it to the hole. Misses. Yeah, it's O'Connor gonna be over the back. Yeah, good call there. Can I get it? Okay, good. As was explained to me yesterday by one of the referees, um, the coaches have to make adjustments on their side too to the way that the game is being played and being called for that matter. So absolutely, uh, there's responsibility on both sides here. The referees to call a consistent game, and the coaches to coach their teams. It's a reach in by O'Connor. That's the second one there on number three, Derek O'Connor, in a row. That's three on Derek. Brennan will inbound the ball. Sub coming in, must throw for Derek O'Connor. So he said O'Connor's got three. Brennan inbounds the ball. Kiros. Getting a little cute up top. Fresh Inc. appears to be in a zone at this point. That pass was open a few seconds earlier, Mike. Baker trying to post up inside. Kios with the ball gets into him. To oh, Brennan Maloney, a nice pretty layup. By underneath. Maloney, yeah. Musto roll up the court. To Vaughn, back to Musto. That's Edwards with the ball. Back out to Musto. Back to Dean Edwards. Out to Vaughn. Looked like he wanted to pull that three. Trying to go baseline, no good. Coach imploring him to pass the ball. Edwards up top. He passes it inside to That's O'Connor. That's Grant O'Connor, a little short. Good shot though. Connor's a very athletic kid. Washington plays some great wide receiver for Connor this year in football. Nice finish by Vaughn. Contested layup. It was good, 34-19 with just under five minutes to go in the third quarter. St. Just, good looking shot, but misses. Team Edwards bringing the ball up. He's gonna go coast to coast. Okay, 
Foul by number 11, Kiros. Get a couple subs coming into the game. That's number 23, Chris. The number Chikura. one, Corey Dinowitz. Ball with the ball. Dribbles to the left. Back over to Musto. Musto. Takes the ball down the middle. Out to Edwards for three. Rotary's gonna need to shake something up, Mike. Make some changes. They're struggling to score. Oh. Nice save there by Baker. Oh, Brennan just took the ball right away from him. Dribbles it off, number. Dribbles it off a defender's foot. Sam, help him, Sam, help him. Kiros. Maloney inbounds it to Kiros, who drives to his left. Nice move. Nice layup. 37 19 with just over four minutes to go. Fresh ink leading. Musto to Dinowitz in the corner. He's going to pull the trigger. Shot Over is off. the back there on number 11, Kuros. <laughs> Sub coming in the game for Rotary. St. Just out, Chazelle in. And Chazelle is in. That shot off. Dean Edwards with the rebound. Looks like a push on that shot. That's a foul by number three. Jack Brennan with the foul on the shot. He's going to shoot two. 37 21, 344 to go. Dean Edwards shooting two, Mark? Yes, he was going shooting to the hole. Two. First one off to the side. That's yeah, easily the quietest I've heard this gym in yes. several days. <laughs> Second one makes it. Puts the score at 38-21, 17-point lead. Again, Rutgers Mike, gonna need to do something. Just look here. They keep dribbling up against the zone. They have no one in the middle. I, I'm not sure they recognize the fact that they're playing against the zone, Mark. Yep. Kind of like the deer in the headlights. I think they just see players in the other, yeah. on the other team. Got to help your players get in the right position to win. Czar, oh, offensive foul, good call. Yeah, he pushed off. Absolutely. He, he pushed off. Move it around and then get it back. I think Rotary has the mindset right now that they can make it up with effort, but unfortunately, that's not the case. People in the right position, spreading the ball around, identifying the open players. Chazelle with the rebound, nice effort. Kiros with the ball and a shot. That's good. A little fight. It's nice to see a little fight from the boys. And Down to 15. Maloney comes up, takes the ball right away Parker from him. grabs it. Nice effort. Oh. Uh, unfortunately, that pass was off. Okay. Turnover on Fresh Inc. Number five, Dylan Farrell in for Brendan Maloney. Gonna give him a quick break. Got the two big men in now for uh, Rotary. Here comes Chris to the hole. Good steal by Vaughn. Up to Musto at the top of the key. Over the 23, going to his right, Musto. Dinowitz passes over Dinowitz to Vaughn. To Vaughn. For three. Nice rebound, and a finish. Number 23, Chris Chikora. That looks like where he, he finds his comfort in the middle. I've seen a few threes and I would recommend that he stays in the middle. 
Derek O'Connor back in the game. Kiro springs the ball up the middle. She's out. out to Brennan on the left wing. Nice three-pointer. Nice three ball there. They needed that to stay in this game. 40-26, 1.45 to go. Oh, O'Connor, nice move. Oh, couldn't finish. Nice look by uh, Kiros. Good hustle there. Oh, good hustle by the big court. man. Really nice work by the big man. Unfortunately, didn't, didn't recognize that the ball's down the other end. Ran down there for nothing. A lot of hustle, though, by that big man. Okay, Rotary. Oh, Dean. Really nice drive, couldn't capitalize. Kiros with the ball, gets tripped. Let's see if they're gonna allow that shot. I think that's an M1. M1, Black good two, call. Three and the basket is good. Okay. Tough finish there by number 11, Kiros, who's come on as of late, Mike. It's a 12 point lead, down to 11. Okay, this is what Rotary needed a little bit of a yeah. of a uh, string of baskets. All right, Grant O'Connor checking in the ball game. Grant O'Connor taking the place of Corey Dinowitz. Kiros brings it up. Kiros Mr. Olinda not letting the donut go to waste. Love it. There's Baker with a nice rebound. Again. Oh. Uh, can't get both hands on it. Down to an 11 point lead with 57 and change. Oh, Kiros for a deep three. Oh, making the game interesting. Eight point ball game. Kiros is one man show out there right now. Edwards out to O'Connor. To Vaughn, no good, no good. Giselle. Oh, the big man, Barkley's back, baby. I'm not sure he had somebody to throw that to. No, I think he got caught. 25 seconds to go, Connor with the ball up top. Farrell playing him, putting a little pressure on him. And let's see what the that call is. That foul is going to go on number 50, Baker. Fouls uh, Derek O'Connor. Brenda Maloney to the bench here to check in. First shot is good. Nice shot. Brendan is going to go in for number 50, Gavin Baker. Give him a, a break. Gavin Baker's been playing hard all game. Okay, 41-32. Oh, in and out in the second oh, one. Jeez. Good fight. Chazelle with the rebound, loses glasses. He got the ball but lost his glasses. Gives his, his coach a little applause. Kiros with the ball onto the left. Okay. Fresh ink with the Oh! oh. Freshink stole the ball and got a good shot, but it didn't go in. You know what? It was good to see how where they were of uh, the clock, though. A lot of kids don't know really where the clock is. That was perfect. So, with eight minutes to go, it's Freshink 41. West Hartford Rotary 32. Down from a 15 or 17 point lead. And uh, I'm not sure that I, sometimes uh, the team with the lead makes a lot of mistakes and gives up their lead. In this case, I think it was really Rotary coming alive. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Kiros had a great third quarter. Knocked down a couple threes, went to the hole strong. Sharing the ball a little bit better and getting up and down the court and, mm -hmm. and playing much better defense. So we'll, let's see what happens here. Well, Kiros, Kiros with, the with the ball, ball. again. Again, two. Looks like a 2-3 zone, maybe. Trying to dribble it between two. Not effective. St. Just. Nice finish. OK, 
Okay. Okay. Rotary going into here, there. Mike. Rotary in their full point press. Reach in foul by number 34, Chazelle. Gee, that looked like a nice block from my perspective. Kind of got it with his elbow. That'll put Edwards on the line for two. I'll, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the officials might not have got that one right. <laughs> I'll have to wait for the replay. You can watch that on WHC TV if you get a copy of this. I can't wait to see it. Brendan Maloney with a rebound. Maloney, yep. Kiros bringing the ball up against Vaughn. Over to St. Just on the right wing. Back to St. Just on the wing. To the top to Maloney, back to Kiros. Maybe a little too much dribbling. Got to be somebody open. Good hustle by Edwards. Oh, they can't get it. Kiros on the rebound. Look up, son. You got three on you. Maloney with a ball fake. Didn't take the shot, but Edwards stole it. That foul goes on number 11, Green. That's Kiros. Vaughn makes the uh, basket and will go to line for one. Lead back up to double digits. Vaughn with a chance to make it 11. Chazelle with the rebound. Out Outlet to Kiros. Push the floor, son. St. Just with the ball. Launches a three. Big basket there, Mike. Big basket. It's a quick shot. But good. Ooh, good. Oh. He could have had it. He's a little late to get that. The foul goes on number 44. Offensive foul. Uh, Sam Montoya. Yeah, he was kind of moving. Good catch there by the uh, he was moving. scorekeepers. Substitutions being made. Sam Musto in for Montoya. Maloney inbounds the ball to Kiros. Kiros for deep three. No good. Musto with, with the, the rebound. Ball. Looks down. Good defense by Farrell. Good effort getting back on defense there by Farrell. Fresh to inbound the ball. O'Connor to Edwards. Back to O'Connor. Let's throw with the ball, takes the baseline. Oh, great pass to Edwards. That was a great look nice right there. Nice hands by Edwards. He was ready for that ball. The lead back to nine. That fouls on Rotary, 34 Chazelle, and that will put number 34 on Fresh Ink, Grant O'Connor to the line. We're one and one both ways now, so we'll be shooting. Okay. A couple subs checking the ball game. Grant O'Connor taking two fouls, uh, one and one fouls, so I'll take that back. Gavin Baker in for Rotary, replacing Brendan Maloney. Farrell is out, and Jack Brennan is in for Rotary. Oh, that was a great box out by Baker, but Chazelle lost his man. Unfortunately, he was the only one boxing out. Derek O'Connor with the ball, over to the side to Dean Edwards. To Mesto down on the line. Good and rebound by Avon Baker. Oh. Nice play there by Vaughn. Five twenty to go. Fresh Inc. with an eleven point lead. Kiros with the ball over to St. Just on the wing. Looking to get that ball down low. It was blocked. Knocked out of bounds and then off his own player. 
Jericho trying to bring the ball up. Edwards on the right wing. Connor right down the middle, nice take. Smart Coach play. Reynolds call for travel. He might have been right. Lead back up to 13. Now Kiros a little bit out of control on that one, but it's good. maybe, oh. St. Just grabs the ball and smart enough to call a timeout. Yeah, I think Coach Reynolds got that right before they were gonna call the hell ball. So Mike, 440 to play. It's a 13 point lead for Fresh Inc. It's gonna be tough for Rotary to close the gap here. Time's running out. They got it down to seven. And uh, that's been as close as they've had it for quite some time now. They ran out of luck there. A little bit of defense and uh, maybe a little patience on offense, getting the ball inside uh, to either uh, Chazelle or, or uh, Gavin Baker might help them out, but they've had difficulty breaking that press. Yeah, the turnovers have been killing them all game, Mike. Trying to dribble through the zone instead of just pass and find an open shot. Giselle, nice rebound. Gets it out to Farrell. Yeah. Ball for the double dribble. Good call there. Rotary's going to press. Looks like a man to man press. I'm not sure everyone on the team knows what to do on that. Edwards with the ball. Looking to use up the clock a little bit, I think. Oh, nice poke by uh, Chazelle out to St. Just. Can't capitalize. Edwards with the ball. They're gonna stretch the court out a little bit. Try to use up the clock. There is no shot clock here in the alumni, so maintaining possession is important. Kick. Coach Gonzalez calling a timeout for Fresh Inc. A 30 this time. It looks like Fresh Inc. looking to slow the ball, take some time off the clock. It's going to be up to Rotary to put some pressure on him. Down 13, just under four minutes to go. Look at the fine basketball skills by this young man over here. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Great referee. <laughs> oh, Connor wow. takes it to the hole. Nice streak. Grand O'Connor with the rebound. Nice smart play to bring it out. Back out, back out. Dean Edwards to O'Connor. Over to Vaughn. Feels like 1974 down in. Are you talking pre-shot clock when uh, North Edwards Carolina? Dean Edwards, four corners. Just Barnes use the clock. Three. Make them take the ball away from you. Great rebound by Edwards there. Oh, oh there you go. Ooh, jump ball. Okay, ball will stay with fresh ink. Tried to drive it down the middle against uh, two larger players, and he wasn't able to capitalize. Nice, what a nice pass, pass, nice cut. Been doing that in the backyard for many a year, the boys. I, I hope he, he gets a pat on the back at some point tonight. Uh, that's gotta make mom and dad proud over there. Kiros with the ball. Again, trying to, trying to dribble between two. Baker pulls it away. Pass outside uh. to Farrell. No good. Musto with the rebound. Look up. Up to court to Vaughn. Oh, nice left round. Nice finish with the left for Vaughn. This ball game is almost out of reach here, Mike. It's a 17 point game yeah, with 240 left. I sense um, a little frustration by Rotary. Yep. They nice just can't get things Kiros. to go their way. Oh, nice track by St. Just. Good shot right there. Brennan with the three. 14 point lead, 2.20 to go. He's got a good looking stroke running. O'Connor to Edwards in the corner. 
Ball deflected out of bounds by Brennan. Okay, checking in the game. Brennan Maloney. Sam Montoya. Edwards inbounds the ball to O'Connor on the baseline. Again, smart play to bring it out. Yeah. They don't need the points or the Edwards. shots right now. They just need possession of the basketball. O'Connor goes to his right. Ooh, no nice. Floater, no good. Baker tracked that ball down nicely. Out to Kiros. Coming up the court. Again. Foul on the play. Yeah, that'll by. be on number three, I imagine. No. 33. 33. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Vaughn. Oh. Okay, Kiros with the first foul shot. It's good. He's got a good stroke, too. Couple subs coming in the game. Use minute from Montoya. Okay, yeah. it's the second one. 12 point game. This game's not over. That's only four baskets. They get a couple of turnovers. Rotary's trying to put the pressure on to get back in. Yeah, Brendan Maloney calling for his teammates to trap the ball. They've really got to take some chances here. 3-3 three, three black with an offensive foul. It's a good call. Yeah, he might have pushed off. He was calling for a push off earlier. Uh, in any case, Kiros with the ball. Out to Maloney. Takes a three. Looks good. Oh, it was short, but it was right on. It was good if it went another foot. Coach Gonzalez calling a timeout. I think he wants to get his players settled down and get them in the right position against this uh, trapping defense. Well, this guy makes sure they play smart. This championship in their hands. Got 114 to go. 54, 42, fresh ink. Hmm. 12 point lead, not insurmountable. No, but you're gonna need to go after, maybe start fouling right out of the right out of gate here. Slow the game down. We got a sub coming out of the timeout. Must go in the game. Looks like a man to man a full court press. They need to trap him right there. They can't. Maloney good with defense, a nice effort. Yeah. Good hustle, good D by Maloney. So one, one of the issues you got there is Baker, who's great inside, is having a tough time sticking with Edwards in this man-to-man -man here. And they haven't found him on the offensive end either. Yeah, I think they're wasting they're too much time job. here, Mike. Uh, it's a numbers game. You need to trap the ball. Kind of goes to the hole. That ball's off Baker, I think. It's going to stay down at this end. Fresh ink with the ball. 42 seconds ago. They should be. Vaughn's going to hold the ball. Another timeout called. Yeah. All right. Coach Gonzalez is going to make wholesale... Substitutions here. Go ahead, go, go ahead, ahead. Go ahead. Okay, fresh ink ball. 34 seconds to go, up 12. Ball inbounds to Usman. Over to Barnum. Back to Usman. I'm surprised they didn't uh, start fouling. A minute or so left in the game, they had a chance. Ooh, oh, good nice block. block by Maloney. 19 seconds, 12 point lead. They don't really need a shot. Maloney, nice little block there. Yeah, he's not gonna quit. He's got a high revving motor and a lot of drive. Well, they're gonna let him take it. Off the mark a little bit. Gets his own rebound. Good. He's gonna 
Oh! One last shot to hurt the stats. That's gonna do it. So, 2018 champion is the Fresh Ink team, coached by uh, Esteban Gonzalez, and uh, the teams will line up here. Mark, thank you very much. Mike, fine season. Thank Another you for doing all you do. And uh, it was a good game, but uh, I think Fresh Ink is the better team. They came out, played they, hard, started strong. They, deserve, they deserve the title. Well, well, again, that'll conclude the championship game here. And uh, we'll look forward to a nice off-season, Mike. We will. Right, thank you, Mark. Care. Thank you.